Hey guys, quick catch up session. Um, building a multiplex Zeno. Just wanted to show you something, a bit of advice. Um, come down here and I'll show you. All right, this is the Zeno power pod that you'll get with it. Two little crusty bits of um, Ella pod that you glue together. And the problem is with this is they supply you with. Um, this, this is a carbon, I've actually bent this, don't worry. They actually supply you, the, the rod that drives the propeller from the motor is actually made of carbon. And that is absolutely shite. Uh, you won't be able to bolt the, um, no way in hell will you be able to bolt the propeller onto that. Because as soon, every time you try and tighten up the propeller, it just spins around and shreds the carbon. Um, and I've had to cut it to get it out as well. So I rang up Lee's model shop, told them the problem, and they sent me the upgrade for it. Um, which is, they give you, where is it gone now? Oh God, never got anything to hand when you need it. Anyway, what they send you is a metal, metal tube. This is actually hollow as well, this metal tube. It's not a solid steel rod. So I'm a bit concerned about that, but we'll see. So I've epoxied all that together last night, um, mounted it onto the mounter, mounted it onto, the, mounted it onto the motor. You know what I mean. And um, yeah, I've just fitted that. I'll tell you what: when you're building this thing, you will need a Dremel or some sort of rotating small circular sander because this hole here, this in that hole, there's a bearing so that this tube can rotate. Um, I don't know, you won't be able to see this at all on camera, it's not going to come out very good. No, you won't be able to see it rotating. But anyway, when you spin the back of the motor, this bit up here rotates. And because all this is plastic, it's got this metal bearing inside, in here, that you just literally put over the tube and drop into place. Um, problem is, that bearing is quite a bit bigger than the hole. So you will find you have to sand out the inside of the hole and you want to make it just tight enough so that it drops in with a good firm push um, because you don't want that falling out mid-flight and you certainly don't want to glue it in place either do not glue that in place because if you do you will never ever be able to get this rod out um, and if you're using the carbon one and you snap it you'll never get another rod in place so do not glue that bearing in place just leave it make sure it's tight enough um, if you do put a little bit of glue on it, um, it will just get into the bearings and you'll ruin it. Um, there there pr practically is no way of gluing that at all, um, even from the underside. I don't know how well you can, probably can't even see that. But um, yeah, you can't glue it. So yeah, that's it really. So I just want to give you a bit of advice there and a quick catch up on the Zeno. Um, mine's painted up and it's almost ready to go so I'm just prattling around with this now as you can see I've got some batteries for it uh, I've got eight there three four five six, yeah eight there and another two somewhere else on the desk so when this goes out to the field we're gonna have quite a bit of fun with it we should get a good couple of hours flying all these batteries um, so that's it yeah you might want to this is a nightmare to glue together as well so you might want to tape it up with some magic tape um, just use magic tape only, nothing stronger because you'll tear or bust the foam. Um, I'm actually going to fibre tape this and put coloured tape over that just to strengthen it. Um, I'm not too comfortable with it as it is in its naked foam state. So yeah that's it guys, I'll catch up with you again sometime soon. Um, I'll be sure to show you the Zeno once it's up and running. Till then, bye!